What's up guys, Mike here from Things We Play, and today we're taking a look at Operation Clarion. Now, I've no real clue what this is, to be honest. It's been a little while, I feel, since I've just jumped into a game completely blind. Uh, but this is a space game, and I like, I like space games. I particularly like space games where something's gone wrong, and I've got to figure out, ooh, what the fuck is happening. Like this. What is that? It's like a whole... I'm in a box, I think. What? I, I, it's probably not good. It probably means we're going to have just the most fantastic of adventures. Uh, a cave. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what. Okay, right. The sound is really nice. It sounds like I'm in a space helmet. Probably because I've got a space helmet on. How do I... Okay. Oh, it's kind of tank-like. Okay, well... I think we've crashed. I mean, that wasn't very clear. We're just having to have a look behind us. What is that? There's a big green thing. I'm in a crater. That looks like... Yeah. Alright, okay. Alright, people. We got our bearings. I was in that. Which doesn't look like it was particularly good for... Space... Oh! For space flight. But, uh... That was overly dramatic. Confirm the whereabouts of the three missing part. There was three of there was four of us. I've got three buddies: Harry, Larry, and Barry. Uh, and I need to find them because uh, they got wives and kids and stuff. And Barry's got a really impressive stamp collection. Is that something I can pick up, or is it just there? Oh, I nod my head. It does that. Good. Oh, you can't turn your head easily and move. Right, that is an issue, because it means that if this is going to be predominantly jumping around... So I'm turning my head inside my space helmet, which isn't very useful. I feel like Michael Keaton in the original Batman. Uh, right, okay. Clump, clump, clump. I think... We're going in there. Take a step back. Oh, he walks back very slowly. Let's go for it! Okay. Oh, well, do you know what? I was going to say it started strong, but it didn't really, did it? It started sort of confusingly, and now it's turned into a very slow jumping simulator of the game. But let's not... Let's not be too harsh. It might all of a sudden change. I just the problem is at this point. I mean, where am I supposed to go from here? At this point, if something were to happen, something dramatic, you know, like a, I don't know what would be cool—an explosion or an alien. I, I don't feel like I could move away from it very quickly. Can I get up there? I can, you know. I'm pretty nimble. Assassin's Creed. This is not. Okay. Fuck it. Oh, look at that. He's good. Maybe we can go faster than we thought. Right. Barry. Larry. Gary, was it? I can't remember. To be honest, Gary, if that is his name, we normally just call him, uh... Uh... Bones. <laughs> I don't know why. Star Trek fan, probably. Alright, I reckon there's someone in here. Yay! Gary! Oh no, sorry, Larry. Hello. I oh, thought you looked just like Gary. You're the third pilot. Uh, first one today, but third pilot overall. And you're dead. Good. Dehydration. Accelerated by exhaustion. Shit. That's Larry gone. Uh... Looks like Saturn as well there. Right, um, well that seemed obvious, you know, for him to be there. Did I come out of... I'm confused as to where I came from. Did I come out of that hole? I think I probably did, didn't I? Am I wasting my time coming back here? Oh, can I get out of there? Do I want to try that jump? Probably not. Ah, turn it down. 
Um. Okay. Well, we can only hope that uh, Bones and Larry are still alive. Not Larry, obviously. Larry's dead. Uh, Gary. Bones and Gary. I quite like bounding around. As much as I thought the movement was a little bit clunky, it does seem quite fun once you get going. He sort of picks up momentum. Like a child jumping through a puddle. On a wintry day. Right, fuck it. Where are we going? This is this is ridiculous. Gary Bones Or Barry. Or Larry. I can't do you know I can't remember any of the names. We're just looking for two more pilots. We weren't friends anyway, to be honest. We just we just put together on this mission, you know. It was a bit awkward because you always have it in mind back in training, you're like, oh yeah, me and Tony are gonna be paired up for this one, it's gonna be a blast. You know, he he's packing extra alcohol he's gonna sneak on board the ship and uh you know it was just we were gonna have a lot of fun but then you get teamed up with these three guys all with similar names it's all very confusing one of them in an accent and uh you know you just got me the best of it all right hello I, I, I can feel death in the air you can do it there's no one here is there Oh, hang on. Geometry. You can do it! No! Okay. Thread the needle. I mean... So what happened to these guys? Why, why weren't they... I mean, I guess we all had individual escape pods. But, I mean, I was very lucky in that respect. Oh, look. That looks just like one of the guys. Shit. Oh. Number two. Found dead. Suffocation caused by a tear in the suit. Or maybe a tear in the suit, which is a lot sadder, isn't it? As though he was just terribly unhappy. Fuck. Alright, okay. One more to go. Where are you, friend? I'm going to continue down here. These little gaps in the walls, they, they seem to be where these guys are, right? Like they tunneled their own little miniature civilization. I mean, have I been in there? I, I, I find it really... Might just be the whole, you know, we're in space thing. Just disorienting me, but... I don't know. I'm under a lot of pressure. Okay. Alright. Oh, up we go. We're going in there. Here we go. Oh, it's good. However. Oh no. It's alright. We're still going. He's going to be up here, isn't he? I've done it. I'm going to have done it. End of the game. Complete it. Princess. You know, shit like that. Maybe some fireworks or a flag. There's nothing here. Was I over there? I mean... Uh, how big is this place? Is that something over there? Did I just come from that cave down there? What is that box that's over there? Oh, yeah. Fuck it, we got to go over there, haven't we? Please! Yeah, that's something... What is that? That's probably really important. Distress beacon. He's alive! Someone's alive! He's gonna be in here. It's all gonna have been a joke. I'm gonna go through and he's gonna be like, Surprise! We're not dead. We're just... Oh. Is he alive? You alright, mate? Dead. Hypothermia. Preceded by low suit battery. Fuck. Dark times. Dark times. I don't know why they, uh, 
have the suits automatically play sad music when uh, your entire team is wiped out on a mission. But it's something headquarters just brought in last year. They said it would raise morale when you're stranded out in space. And to be fair, it does the job. I'm not quite as down as I could be. There's a good view. It's quiet. And, uh... You know, I don't mind the song. Well, now what? Is this it? Just me? Forever? This is my planet now. Mine. I call it Planet Mike. It'll catch on. Oh shit! I'm getting out of it. Goodbye, Planet Mike. I've found a space pod. And everything is gonna be fine. I hope. Okay. Ignition on three, two, one. Let's go. Oh yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry. You're either a survivor, you're a lifeless body on a planet no one's ever gonna go to again. Operation completed. All pilots identified. Gary, Larry, Barry. No survivors. But there you go guys, that's Operation Clarion. If you're going to try it for yourself, you can hit the link in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed the video, please do hit the like button on your way out. Be careful out there, and I'll see you next time.